for those that don't know the story, Liv Morgan posted on social media that she feels awful for someone. She found out on Instagram that someone thought they were talking to Liv Morgan, thought that Liv Morgan had money problems, and sold their house to give the money to what they thought was Liv Morgan, but they actually gave it to a scammer instead. My immediate reaction is, I'm not sure if the person claiming they sold the house actually sold the house. Because you think about selling a house, there are usually lawyers involved, there is filings you have to make. And I just, I got to know the state that it was in. There is so much legality. There is so much scamming. And the seriousness of somebody go 20 years for that. I'm a little skeptical about someone who claims they told Liv Morgan, I sold my house, I thought I was giving it to you. I'm not in any way accusing Liv Morgan of anything. Liv Morgan truly believes that somebody stole, sold their house thinking they were helping Liv Morgan. Wouldn't it be amazing if that person, think about this for a minute, wouldn't it be interesting if that person who went to Liv Morgan and said, oh my God, I sold my house thinking I was giving it to you and I gave it to a scammer. And Liv Morgan feels terrible. She says, oh, my God, how could you get your house back? Well, I have to pay these fees, and I got to hire a lawyer, and this, this, and that. Wouldn't it be something if the person who claims they sold the house to help Liv ends up trying to scam Liv, they could buy the house back? See, you got to have, you have to have a nefarious mind. See, how do you out-bullshit a bullshitter? You got to think like them. And when I heard that for Liv, I felt awful for Liv because I do believe that there's very, very good people out there who do get scammed into crazy shit. So do I think someone could have been scammed out of money thinking they were helping Liv Morgan? Look at the guy who thought he was helping Seth Rollins. And look at what happened there. So it doesn't surprise me. But when you get to the point of selling a house, what state do you think this person lives? You think he lives where he just signs on a napkin? Seriously, it's not simply, look, I signed my deed and I just shipped it to, you know, bullshit a scan, you know, and they own my house now. You don't think it would be on nationwide TV news? You don't think if it happened in Texas, Arizona, Arkansas, New Jersey, California, uh, New York, Hawaii, I, why is it not covered on the news? How come no news organization said, oh, my God, we got to cover this story? We got to interview it. Think about it, everybody. Think about it. You would not be surprised. If Liv Morgan is the one they're trying to scam. Oh, my God, I sold my house. Liv, I thought it was you. It was somebody pretending to be you. Oh, my God, I can't believe that. We got to get your house back. Well, Liv, you don't have to call the news. You have to do this. I just need to hire a lawyer, but I don't have the money. I just gave my house away. They gave me a bad check. Can you pay Western Union me $2,500? If you don't have $2,500... You know what? Give me a Target gift card. Go send me a Target gift card. Then scratch off the back and read me the code. And then I could go back to a lawyer. Target has lawyers now. I could go to Target right now, go to aisle 17, and I could get the Target. And the only reason why I'm talking like that is because it is an Indian scam. Go online and type in Target gift card scam. Would not be surprised if the person who claims they sold their house to Liv Morgan is going to try to scam Liv Morgan. I need to hire a lawyer. Oh, what can I do to help? Go to Target and get me five $100 gift cards and scratch it off and leave me the numbers.
Do not redeem. Give me the numbers. I redeem. I get the lawyer myself. Guys, I'm not trying. I, I'm trying to be a little lighthearted about it. But, you know, let's not act like we got a clickbait here and stuff like that. Let's just think about common sense here. In 2022, you think somebody just says, sign here. <laughs> I own the house. What did they do to the house? Tell us the address. Let's go confront the owner. No news media, no nothing. I'm telling you, do not be surprised to find out somebody was trying to scam Liv Morgan. And Liv Morgan has the heart of gold. She is a doll. Everybody adores Liv Morgan. I talk to a few people that are friendly with her outside of wrestling, and nobody has a bad thing to say about Liv Morgan. She is a wonderful person, and unfortunately, caring, giving, wonderful people are the ones who sometimes are the targets more than anything, because they have just that generosity and good about them. They want to help. So Liv is just a wonderful person, and I do believe that people do impersonate Famous people. I Look, the stuff that happened with that guy with Seth Rollins, I believe it. I believe somebody tried to scam, pretending to be Seth Rollins. But you're talking a couple of hundred dollars. You're talking about a house? That's 20 years in jail. It's 20 years in jail. You signed the deed. Okay, who owns the house? I don't know. No news organization wants to cover it. No police get involved. Just... A, a message, I sold my house, Liv. I thought I was giving it to you. What do you think Liv did? You think Liv said, show me proof. Let me see the deed. Liv wouldn't do any of that. Liv believes that the person who told her that, I get this weird feeling that Liv is the target of the scam. And if it ends up happening, you know this shit is going to be all over the net. I look, I hope she was not the victim. I hope you know what? You know what? And hear me out while I say this, and then we're gonna leave. I hope she was the attempted target of the scam. Because then that means nobody did sell their house to a scammer. And I think Liv would probably feel better. If Liv says tomorrow, oh my God, it ended up somebody was trying to scam me. I honestly think she would feel better because then that means nobody actually lost their house because of her. I'll put a link for a couple of scam baiters out there who address Kit Boga. Any of you know Kit Boga? You got to go check out Kit Boga. He is the one that addresses the scams with Target cards and everything. And um, then you'll understand why I used you know, the impression I did earlier. I'm sure there's going to be a couple of assholes out there. You fucking racist. No, <laughs> listen to the scams. Nobody's like, hi, hey, how are you doing? My name is Calvin. And Cal, I, unfortunately, I sold my house thinking it was for Liv Morgan. And Liv, if you could help me get my house back, I need you to go to Target. I need you to get me five $100 gift cards. And please do not scratch them off. I will scratch them and I will go get... The lawyer, because they sell it, they talk. Nobody talks like that. There's nobody. Hey, how you doing? Hey, live. Some scumbag out there fucking talk, talk me into selling the house, thinking I was helping you. How stupid am I, eh? Hey, live. You know what you could do for me, live? You could go down to Target. And maybe while you're there, you get me a box of cannolis too. But before you go to the cash register, you go get yourself five $100 gift cards. Don't redeem them. Just scratch them off and give me the code and I'll take care of it. And I'll send you the receipts and everything. And I promise you, I will personally thank you for it. You know, nobody like that. You go online. 99.9% .9 of them are through Calcutta, India. That is the scam. Nobody in the United States is doing it because they go to 20 years, 20 years in jail. Nobody in the United States is going to travel to Calcutta. You're coming with me. You're coming back to the United States, and you're going to face charges in Florida because you scammed somebody out of a house. That is the truth. That is the truth.